You know, you see somebody's tire tracks here and it's no big thing. It's just a camping area, parking area. But down here around Quartzsite, one of the coolest things to see is the tank tracks in the desert from World War II when uh, Patton trained the armored 1st Division out here. And the ta tank tracks are still in the ground. The first time that Linda and I saw them, we were riding our ATV out on some roads, and I thought, who's been driving bulldozers through the desert out here? They were plain as day. You know, about 12 feet apart and wide bulldozer tracks, and it turned out to be uh, Patton's Tank Corps. That's pretty cool. After all these years, they're still there. But what that tells you though, is that when you do damage to the desert, it doesn't go away. So be careful when you ride your ATV, stay on the roads. Don't be leaving your own legacy. <laughs> you can also go to where their encampment was and uh, you can see where all their tents were laid out. Everything is still surrounded by stones like they did it back in the 1940, 1941, whatever it was. And it's all still there for you to see. It's just off the highway on the east side of Quartzsite. Pretty cool stuff. Well, Linda and I are camped down here in Plamosa, uh, north of Quartzsite, Plamosa, campground you can stay here for 14 days and um, there are hundreds of places down here in Quartzsite around the Quartzsite area where you can camp for free this is just one of them the problem with this particular one is the noise from the highway but you don't have to camp here you can camp as remote as you like beautiful area though you should come down and camp for free <laughs> When you're down here, you can camp close to other people or you can be out all by yourself if you like. We like to camp out by ourselves whenever possible. In a couple of days, we're gonna head further south. I like to get down where it's like 80 degrees and where it's warm at night, where you can sit outside in your lawn chair and a t-shirt. Looking forward to that. Meeting up with some friends down here later today. We like to get out and just cruise. No special place to go, no real itinerary, just kind of a direction like I've mentioned in previous video. And uh, that way you're really relaxed. And you don't have a destination, then you don't have to get there, do you? You can just go slow and enjoy the trip. I like that a lot. When you come down to Quartzsite, you'll find that they really cater to the RV crowd, to the traveler, with a place where you can uh, get propane, and at the same time, you can fill your water jugs, get filtered water if you like, drinking water, or just regular water for washing, and place to dump your garbage. They know the needs of the traveler, and they cater to that. It's pretty nice. The only problem with Quartzsite is there is no decent place to buy groceries. Like there's no grocery store in town except for the family dollar store. <laughs> but uh, 36 or 34 miles north of Quartzsite is Parker, Arizona, and there's a Walmart there. And you can buy gas a little cheaper there too. And that's not too far. Once a week you head up there and stock up. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. How are you? Just dandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time for coffee. Yep. Okay, I'll get on it. The fella camp next to us just brought us this big pile of firewood. That's enough for a couple of nights or several nights even. What a nice thing. It's all hardwood too. Fantastic.
what Linda's showing you is these are these tracks are all probably maybe 12 feet apart or something like that they're wide these are the actual tank tracks from George Patton's uh, first armored that trained here they were on their way to North Africa from World War II Yeah, I know it's hard to tell by the video, but trust me, these tracks are wide and they're 80 years old. Is this an army can? <laughs> no. No, but it's an old can. Well, in this area, it's all lined walkways, and you can picture it back in the 1940s, during the early 40s, 40, 41, I think. But this would have all been lined with tents and uh, nice gravel in these walkways, and tents for living, tents for tents for cooking, tents for maintenance. There were thousands of boys out here training. Many of them didn't even have driver's licenses and here they were learning how to drive a tank into battle. You gotta remember that wars were fought by boys, not men. And they were train here training in the 120 degree summer heat getting acclimated for Northern Africa. That's what they were doing here. What a place. It's amazing that this is all still here.